Hi, I'm Alyssa Fernandez with the Purdue OWL. This video will review the standards for creating a reference list according to the APA's 7th edition publication manual. For other writing resources, subscribe to our channel or visit our site at owl.purdue.edu. The following guidelines apply when formatting the title element of a reference list entry. For works that are part of a greater whole, like chapters in an edited collection or a journal article, do not italicize the title or use quotation marks. Capitalize using sentence case. This means capitalizing the first word of the primary title, the first word of any subtitle, and any proper nouns. For works that stand on their own, like books and web pages, italicize the title and use the same sentence case capitalizing rules. Finish the title element with a period. However, if a title ends with a different punctuation mark, a question mark or an exclamation point, that punctuation supplants the period. Now onto the source element. In a reference list entry, the source refers to the location where a reader can locate the text. The source can refer to the location of a work that is part of a greater whole, such as a chapter in an edited collection, a journal, or a web page. The source can also describe a work that stands as a whole on its own, such as a book, a dissertation, or a TV show. The precise process for formatting the source element can vary considerably from source to source, so let's look at some common examples. When a periodical is the source, include the periodical title, volume number, and page range. Capitalize and italicize the periodical title and volume number, enclosing the issue number in parentheses. Many online periodicals publish articles without volume numbers or page numbers. In these cases, simply include the title of the periodical, capitalized and italicized. For works within an edited collection, type in followed by the initials and and the page range. For collections with more than one editor, follow these same rules but following the name of the final credited editor, write eds. Note that like periodicals, Container works like edited collections are capitalized in title case. Include social media in your reference list only when the content you are citing was originally published there. If the social media page directed you to another site where you retrieved information, cite that source directly. To cite a social media source, provide the site name in the source element, capitalized without italics. Include a period after the social media site name, followed by the URL. When a website is the source for a reference, provide the website name in titles without italics. Include a period after the website name, followed by the URL. If the author of the work is the same as the website name, however, omit the site name so as to avoid repetition. This can frequently happen when the source's author is an organization. When including a source with a DOI or URL, follow these guidelines. Include a DOI for all works that have a DOI, regardless of whether you use the online or print version. If a print work does not contain a DOI, do not use a DOI or URL in your reference entry. If an online work has both a DOI and URL, include only the DOI. If an online work has a URL but no DOI, include the URL in your reference. Present both DOIs and URLs as hyperlinks so that a reader can access the online content directly and easily. That just about covers the basics. Now, let's cover some uncommon cases that don't necessarily follow the rules we've just discussed. For translated works, Cite the texts in the language in which the translation was published. That is, if you are citing a text in English that was originally published in French, you should cite the English translation you used. In this case, you should also give credit to the translators. For these texts, also provide the year the text was first published in its original language. This information is placed at the end of the reference in parentheses, as shown here. 
You can follow the same rule with republished or reissued texts. Use the date of republication for the date element. Then, at the end of the citation entry, add original work published year in parentheses. If the original date of publication is unknown, which is common for classical or ancient sources, you can use the abbreviation CA, which stands for circa, to indicate the approximate creation date. When organizing reference lists, remember that nothing precedes something for the purpose of alphabetization. For instance, mil vk would precede mils ad, even though s comes before v. Also, when alphabetizing names, disregard any spaces or punctuation marks in two name last surnames. Here, author Woods precedes author Wood Thompson because s precedes t in the alphabet. To reference multiple works by the same author, order entries in chronological order beginning with the first published. References with no date precede references with dates. References with the same publication year can be distinguished by lettering the years A, B, C, and so on. References still in press are listed last. These same rules apply when referencing multiple texts written by the same set of two or more authors. Some texts have no official author. However, before treating a text as though it has no author, consider whether a group or organization is the author. If not, begin the reference with the first word of the title and alphabetize the entry by its first letter, excluding words like a, an, or the. For example, a text with an unknown author titled A Meeting of the Minds would follow a text authored by Mason P.T and precede one authored by Millerin K.S. That's all the time we have for today. Once you've put the guidelines in this video into practice, your reference list should be an orderly, professional, and consistent document. Most importantly, it should be useful for readers who want to replicate the awesome work you've done. We hope you found this guide helpful. For additional information, including guidelines for citation situations we haven't covered here, visit the Purdue OWL at owl.purdue.edu. Happy referencing!